This is Tom Dinky reporting from UB Stadium. I'm joined alongside Quentin Haynes and Jordan Grossman after the football team's 51 to 14 victory over FCS Albany on Saturday. Uh, the Bulls, uh, you know, were down early. Albany scored the first touchdown, seven nothing, but Buffalo was able to rattle, rattle off 38 straight unanswered points to get new head coach Lance Leipold his 110th victory as a head coach. Jordan, what did you think of this offense tonight? I said it over and over again. I said that Joe Licata was going to thrive in this offense under Lance Leipold, and he did. 28-26 for 246 yards and two touchdowns. And he did that with, with about six or seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. Imagine if he had a full game, he could put up a lot more stats than that. Something that really I liked as well was that nine of the, his 20 completions were to tight ends. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Weiser, Mason Shrek both had very big games. And having two tight ends in this system I think is going to be very beneficial to this team going forward mm -hmm. as blockers and as route runners. And Quentin, that defense was pretty impressive as well. Uh, only 14 points on the board after the struggles we knew they had last season. You know, it was against an FCS opponent, but overall, what were your thoughts on the defense? I think it was fine. I think the 14 points are a little bit of a misnomer, though. Um, 4.0 yards allowed per run. That's not pretty good. I think that's something that you should worry about because if they face an experienced quarterback, they can put the ball in the end zone. This team now, you can see a little bit that they're acceptable to being run upon, and that can kill that can force longer drives so it is it's good to see 14 points it's good to see them get two interceptions and get turnovers but you got to worry a little bit about the running and you also got to focus on the fact that this team is going to have to worry about fixing that defense moving forward especially when we get into mac play mm -hmm. and it gets a little bit colder mm -hmm. There was kind of a scary moment here uh, at, towards the end of the first quarter. Freshman safety Jordan Collier went down on the field after a kickoff. Uh, it appeared to be a neck injury. Uh, UB Athletics has said that his hospital trip was just precautionary and he's moving all extremities, so it seems like he'll be fine, but just something to note, and uh, it was kind of a scary situation. Bulls next opponent will be Penn State in Happy Valley on, on Saturday. Spectrum team will be there giving you coverage. Uh, Penn State lost today, though, to Temple 27-10. to 10. Uh, So, Quentin, just what are your kind of thoughts on Penn State in that game next week, maybe considering that, you know, that the Nittany Lions lost today against the team that maybe some people were expecting them to win against? Actually, a little scared because you never know how a team's going to come out after they lose a game like yeah. that. They could be a little bit angry. Christian Hackenberg's one of the top quarterbacks in the nation, so you got to worry about that. But there is a chance that Penn State is acceptable on defense and you could throw over them. So I think Buffalo will have a chance to beat Penn State. Mm -hmm. Jordan, has your outlook on Penn State changed at all after today? I agree with Quentin a little bit, but at the same time, I can see that defense struggling a little bit. Giving up 27 points to a team like Temple, there still obviously are a few flaws in that system that they still need to reboot. I'm not sure if one week is going to be enough time, even though that Buffalo and Temple may be on the same uh, plateau as opponents. Mm -hmm. um, I can probably say that it will probably be a very high-scoring occasion. I think it's going to be uh, very high-scoring, a lot of passing touchdowns, a lot of rush yards throughout. Uh, it's going to be a good game, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it's easy to sit here today seeing the Bulls beat up on an FCS opponent, seeing Penn State struggle. I think I still think that game's going to go the way of Penn State. Um, it's easy to be optimistic right now, but ultimately Penn State is, you know, Penn State. Uh, so I think it's still going to be, you know, not a close game that, you know, everyone might be thinking right now. That wraps up this game recap. Again, the Spectrum team will be down at Penn State next Saturday to give you more coverage. Uh, for Quentin Haynes and Jordan Grossman, I'm Tom Dinky.